Guys, it's Dane with DynastyBreaks.com. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we are doing the Dynasty Comic Vault. This is the uh, third edition. This is case break number two. Uh, we randomized, uh, we have case one, two, and three in this run. We've already used case two. Uh, we randomized just a second ago. Uh, case one come up, came up on the uh, randomizer. That's what we're using. There are 12 comic related hits in this case. Most of them are going to be graded comic books. Uh, there are 12 of you folks in the break. Let me show you how this is going to work and we'll get started. If you're watching a recording of this and you just want to see what's inside the box, go ahead and fast forward. Uh, we've got Justin down to Travis. I'm going to randomize your names uh, after we open all the items. After we open all the items, I'll randomize your names and that will be our draft order. This is a draft your hit style break. I will then paste your names in 1 through 12. And we'll uh, stop the break then for about three or four minutes. I'll put a timer on the screen. Uh, I will be typing in all the comics and all the comic related items we get while you guys maybe talk trade. Uh, you may want to move up to a higher pick to get something you want. You can trade two spots for one. You can trade your spot plus some PayPal, Venmo, uh, a little money to try to entice somebody to trade with you. Uh, definitely welcome to do that. So. Um, without further ado, we will uh, we'll then get started. We'll draft 1 through 12. You guys will make your picks. Um, and then we will have a, uh, a bonus item for the final three selections in the draft. Uh, if you pick last, you are going to get your first choice of bonus items. Now, please keep in mind, I'm not going to reveal the bonus items until the draft is over. So uh, if you get picked 10, 11, 12, those might, might be desirable for somebody to trade for because they're going to get an extra item. So pick 12 will get their item plus there. Uh, pick 11 will go next. And then uh, pick 10 will get the last remaining bonus item. So uh, not too bad to get toward the end of the, uh, end of the draft here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, open the case. We're going to go ahead and open this thing. I'm going to beam out. And uh, let's see what we got. What do you think, George? Well, I'm anxious to see what comes out of there, Dane. I've tried to uh, add some lighting here. I know we've had problems with the uh, trying to focus on our cards that describe uh, the comics and such. So I've got an extra light set up. So hopefully that helps us out. Ooh. Okay, we got some interesting stuff here. It's like a Funko Pop here. I'm gonna set that down, but I want to remove the bonus items. So you guys can see bonus one, two, and three. I'm gonna set these up on the counter up here. We'll do those just a bit later. Okay, uh, those will not be revealed until we're done with the draft. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Here it is. Casey Jones, uh, Ninja Turtles fans. This is a signed Funko Pop, uh, signed by Kevin Eastman, the creator, the co-creator of Ninja Turtles. And look at that. He drew a little uh, Casey Jones there for you, a little sketch. Silver ink. The Casey Jones Funko Pop. We want to show all sides of that. There is your PSA DNA authentication. Pristine auction item at one point. Very cool. Comes in a little bit of a plastic case here. Protective case. Send that over to George. All right, we have a few uh, non-comic book items. We're going to hit those first. Next up is going to be a 95 Marvel Metal. You guys know how hot these are, uh, cards. So we do have cards in this break. Uh, let's say Wolverine PSA 9. Wolverine PSA 9. All right. Let me take the bag off this, guys. Let me do that to prevent uh, scratching on the case. There you go. These are very condition sensitive. Usually a lot of chipping, 
corners and edges. I'm going to set this aside. I will use our table cam to get a better look of this. Uh, a little bit uh, made for cards a little bit better on our table cam. So I'll do that before I start typing in hits. I'll set that set that up here. We'll take a look at it. All right. PSA nine. Ooh, <laughs> I love this. This is a Charlie Brown eight by ten. Charlie Brown. This is signed by Peter Robbins, who was the original voice of Charlie Brown. And uh, we do a lot of sports here at Dynasty, so you got, you got to get Lucy pulling the football. That is inscribed. Arr! The original voice of Charlie Brown, Beckett Authenticated, signed 8x10. Classic image. Very cool. Very cool. You go, George. All right, now we're going to get into some graded comic books. Yeah, please, guys, do not uh, state values. That's a good point. Do not state values. Do not say this should go here. Uh, do not affect the draft in chat, or we will have to remove you from the break. Or we'll have to remove you from the chat room, even if you're in the break. All right, first up is going to be Adventure Comics number 252. Adventure Comics 252. This is from 1958. That is a CGC 3.5. Uh, that is a key issue. This is the first appearance of Red Kryptonite. Whoa. First appearance of Red Kryptonite. You guys know I like to we'll get a close up on the book as well. Try to get all the glare away from it. Adventure Comics 252, uh, 3.5 grade. And uh, oh, you got Mickey Mantle on the back. Joe Lewis, who is that? I don't know who that is. Mickey Mantle. All right, next up. Justice League number 37. Justice League 37. Uh, apparently adding light did not get my camera to focus much better. That is from 1965. This is a CGC 4.0. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Mr. Terrific. And I love this cover. Very cool. Great cover. Justice League of America. JLA. I think eventually, guys, we are going to get uh, probably get a different camera set up if we're going to start doing these more often. That'll uh, be a little bit better for uh, comics, where we can just do this on the uh, table, a little bit better view. We'll try our best with our webcam here. But all right, next up, the Dark Knight Batman number six nineteen. That is from two thousand three. CGC nine point six signature series signed by the man. Jim Lee. Jim Lee Auto. Former head of DC Comics, I do believe. One of the best cover artists out there. Just a great, uh, I believe from the Hush series, if I'm not mistaken. Signature series, Jim Lee Auto. Batman. Silver Ink. That is issue 619. It's a 9.6 signature series. That might have been George Mikan on the back. Uh, Soul Calibur advertisement for all you video game people. Next up, Bucky Barnes. 
The Winter Soldier number one. Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier number one. My camera does not like these notes. Come on, camera. You can do it. Stand by. I'm going to get the trick down to this camera, Trip. All right, this is a CGC 9.8 Signature Series Sketch Edition. Uh, so this is a sketch cover. It is signed by Scott McDaniel, and it's signed and colored by Steve Leidig. Sorry for the uh, blurriness there. Tried to add an extra light to our setup here. Look at that cover. Hey, I have Hush Comics, Trip, at home. I used to buy those back in the day. All right, there's your first signature. It's a great sketch. Winter Soldier. 9.8 signature series. I have blank back. Bucky Barnes. Oh, I like this cover. I like it even better if you can see my note here. Iron Man number 43. This is from 1971. CGC 7.0. First appearance of the Guardsman. First appearance of the Guardsman. All right, there is a, a very cool cover. Classic Iron Man cover. CGC 7. Very cool. Tells a man called Mikens. Men mannequins. Uh, seven on the grade. Seven. CGC. From 1971. Uh, make money, get prizes. Pretty sure that's expired. Hmm. But who knows. Mail it in and see what happens. Alright, next up. Thor, number 168 from George's favorite year, 1969. CGC 5.0 Signature Series, White Pages. That is the origin of Galactus, and it is signed by Stan Lee. We've had a Jim Lee, we got a Stan Lee. They both have the last name Lee, and they are both icons. Stan Lee Auto. The Mighty Thor. You cross your eyes and move slowly away from the TV, you can read the notes. There you go. The Origin of Galactus. The late, great Stan Lee. Got a little uh, stamp there, July 10th, 1969. Fifteen cent comic back in the day, five point oh six series. Thor number one sixty eight. Uh, there is a uh, Stan Lee. Uh, it's kind of an authentication that is from pristinecomics.com. We're going to include that as well, so that will be included. All right, next up. Cross your eyes. Venom, number 27 from 2020. That is a CGC 9.8 Sig Series. First full appearance of Codex. No, not Kodak. Codex. Um, that is a virus appearance. It is signed. It is sketched. Get ready. In Hayuk Lee. It's our third autograph some, from someone with the last name Lee. It's a themed case. Might get Bruce Lee up next. Look at that cover. That is sweet. 9.86 series. Let's go over the cover. Big autograph. Love that. 
silver ink. Long tongue there. Nine eight Venom number twenty seven from twenty twenty. Six series. You know what they say, George? What do they say, Dane? Knowing is half the battle. What is A R A H? G I Joe Ara number one. A real American hero. Ara. Hurrah for Ara number one. 1982. CGC 8.5 White Pages. This is the newsstand edition. And there's so many first appearances, we can't list them all. G.I. Joe, number one. If you're a kid of the 80s like myself, number one, you're old, or becoming old. Number two, you like G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, issue number one. Trevor is also a real American hero. New stand edition. Ara. It'll be a tough draft, kids. Eight point five CGC. Uh, and there's a there's a tank for you. That's the multi ordnance battle tank, of course. It's way better than the single ordnance. All right, next up. Transformers, number two, George's uh, second favorite Transformers issue from 1984. That is uh, our friends at Beckett, CBCS 9.2 Signature Series. First appearance of Buster Witwicky. Wasn't it, uh, wasn't that Shia LaBeouf's character in the movie? Uh, second appearance of the Autobots and Decepticons. This is signed by Jim Stalkrup and Michael Golden. Transformers number two. So we got the G.I. Joes, we got the Transformers, we got the 80s covered. Pretty much got the 80s covered. Great, uh, great cover there. Beautiful. This is going to be tough. Remember, as I type these in, you guys are going to have an opportunity to trade draft picks before we start. There's your first auto. Where's that second auto? Trev might help me out there. Could that be it? Stand by. I don't know where the second auto is. But it's on there. Optimus Prime versus Megatron. Oh, it's at the very bottom, Trip says. Very bottom. Oh, I got you. Here yeah, you go. There it is. Silver ink. He didn't press down very hard. Silver ink right there. Not only is that a Transformer leg, that is also an autograph. All right, I'm going to hand this to George so he can put it on his head. Put that on your head, George. Okay. Uh, guys, give us just a second, and we're going to do that random. Stand by. Stand by. All right, hey, one thing I wanted to show you guys uh, was this Wolverine card. I wanted to get a little bit better shot. Since it is a trading card, we like to show it on our regular camera. Um, so there is the Fleer Metal. A little bit better shot of it. PSA 9. Wolverine. Again, uh, the key on these is a lot of chipping, usually. Uh, if you guys collect metal uh, universe basketball, you'll know how, how uh, tough of a grade that is. 
All right, there is the Wolverine. All right, I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the random and get all this off here. I'm gonna do the random now for your uh, for your draft order. Please uh, hold off on your picks. We're gonna have about a three minute trading period while I type in all the hits, and then at the very end when the draft is over. We're going to reveal the bonus items for pick 10, 11, and 12. Now, remember, if you trade one of those picks, your bonus goes with it. So makes people want to trade for those uh, last three spots, perhaps. All right, let's go over, see where we're picking at. We've got Justin V down to Travis KIR. We're going to go to random.org, and we are going to go four times. That's what we do on Monday Night Breaks. One, two. Three and four. Draft order is dum da dum 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 down to Justin. Dom down to Justin four times. Uh, please keep in mind we are going to have the finale of Volume Three, The Comic Vault, next Monday night. We'll be listing that for next Monday. All right, there is our list. I'm going to turn the sound down. I'm going to be typing in all the hits right here. Uh, during that time, you guys can trade. We'll be right back.
All right, folks. We are uh, we're ready to go. Uh, we did have a uh, we did have a rip card in Allen and Ginner actually. All right, I don't see any trade talk at all for uh, for selection. So here's how it's going to work. Uh, again, we have some bonus items to reveal at the very end. Right now, uh, I usually like to just type those in instead of having pre-typed. Uh, that gives you guys time to trade. Um, so we're going to start the draft. How this is going to work? I'm going to say a two-minute clock. Uh, that should cover any video delay we have. Uh, probably about a probably about a 15 second delay, you guys, uh, when we speak to when you guys hear it. Uh, two minutes uh, for Dom. And again, if you guys want to make a trade during the draft, you're welcome to do that. But you don't have a whole lot of time when it's your turn. Just let us know if you make a deal. Dom on the clock. Tough decisions. Thanks for joining the Comic Vault. Good job, Trevor, putting this together. We didn't rip it, Jalen, but there was one. Mike is saying he's willing to trade up if somebody wants to trade down to four. Uh, Mike, I would I would throw your offer out there. Um, you guys be specific on your offer because you really don't have the time to go back and forth um, and ask each other what you want to do. I would just throw an offer out there since you guys are on a, on a time clock here. Yeah, we got a Don Mattingly rip card. We did not rip it, however. And remember, guys, there is a video delay. We're going to be a little bit lenient on the clock. I think some people have a little bit longer delay on their end. Uh, when this hit, this hit zero, we'll, we'll have about a 20, 30 second overage just in case. Okay, Mike offering 100 and the four spot. Uh, Dom has made his selection, however, so you may have to make your offer to the second place person. Mike? Uh, Dom is taking the Thor autographed by Stan Lee. That is Thor number 168 autographed by Stan Lee going to Dom. Nice pick there. Justin V-O-N, next up. And uh, Mike's saying the offer still stands, Don, so he would actually uh, have that comic if you traded. Offer still stands. If you guys were in our break uh, today of Rookies and Stars football, that break has been moved to Thursday night after 2007 SP Authentic Legendary Cuts Baseball. Uh, Rookies and Stars football number five moved to Thursday night. Yeah, Jay Lennon, we did not have a rip request. So, did not have a request. Dom said, no thanks, Mike. Okay, so chat has a little bit of a delay, so we're, we'll be on that. Not going not gonna to hold you guys to the two-minute necessarily. We'll be pretty lenient on that. Justin V. Maybe the YouTube server's a little bit behind. Alright, so we'll give uh, we'll give Justin a little extra time. Looks like we've got some people with uh, delays here. Alright, Justin. Okay, there it Taking is. Taking the Batman number 619. 
Two selections have been made. Two autographs of last uh, people with last name of Lee. Stan Lee Auto, Jim Lee Auto goes at one and two. Thor and Batman. There you go, Justin. Uh, Christopher, next up. Very cool. Christopher up at the three spot. And let me know if you guys have any questions on any of the items. Um, I, I put in as much description as I can with uh, how, how much room we have to type there. Marvel Metal Wolverine. All right, the Wolverine PSA 9 going next. Taking the card. Marvel Metal is on fire in the hobby right now. Uh, Marvel Metal PSA 9 is a solid grade. There you go, Chris. Mike wears Prada. He only does it on weekends, though. Uh, next up. I think that card's going to do nothing but appreciate, Chris. Good pick. George racing his car in the background. Uh, Mike on the clock about a minute and a half. Actually, that was George's stomach. He had a he had a chili burrito earlier. Mm. Wish that helped. No, I don't really want a chili burrito. Remember, we have bonus items to reveal for picks 10, 11, and 12. We will not reveal that until the draft is over. in a band or something. Wow. 45 seconds for Mike. 45 seconds. Again, good job to Trev on this. We'll, we'll try to do these more often. Uh, I think we're doing about once a quarter now in the past nine months. What's a chili burrito? That would be a burrito covered in chili. Or it would be a very cold burrito. Burritos. Ooh, Jamaican burritos. There you go. Jamaican me hungry, Jalen. Um, time's up, Mike. Mike may be getting ready to wear Prada tonight. Uh, where are you at, Mike? Talking back and forth. He's got to be there. He's thinking. He's thinking. We're being very lenient. Uh, taking G.I. Joe. Knowing is half the battle, Mike. You're you're a real American hero. A raw, a raw, a real American hero. Uh, Travis K I R next up. Travis, the only Texan in the break. Nobody's perfect, except for Travis, being a Texan and all. Travis taking the Transformers. G.I. Joe and Transformers going back to back. Welcome to the 80s. Transformers number two, CBCS 9.2 Signature Series, first appearance of Mr. Witwicky. Uh, Justin, you're going back to back. Uh, if you need four minutes, feel free to take your uh, both of your clocks in full, if you need them. Travis knows what he wants. Women like that. People who know what they want, I think. I've heard that before.
Casey Jones Funko Pop with one of the coolest sketches out there. He drew it right over where the face is on the Funko Pop. It's awesome. All right, Kevin Eastman signed and sketched. And then uh, Justin going to be on the clock again. I guess technically we're sticking with the 80s there on the Ninja Turtles. Women know what they want. Ooh. That's a statement. Kind of. Yeah, but do women want men that know what they want? That's the question. I mean, we're all picking comic books here. We don't know anything about this. You know what I mean? We're picking comic books here. We need to know as much about women as possible, right? Anyway, Justin on the clock. I think women dig guys of comic books. That's what I think. Forty five seconds. Women want men that know what the woman wants even before she does. Whoa, that's deep. That's like inception. Um Don't stereotype. Ooh, Carly's being... When did I do that? Women want mind readers. There you go. Um, Professor X gets all the chicks. All right. Uh, Carly is not on the clock, but Justin is. Last call, Justin. Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, number one. Casey Jones and Bucky Barnes pairing up and going to Justin. Tyler, TJ, next up. I think women want men that say, hey, check out my comic book collection. That's what I think. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, TJ, next up. TJ said, uh, Charlie Brown. Arg! Charlie Brown getting the put football pulled away from him by Lucy. There you go, Tyler. Solid. Uh, that's Peter Robbins. He was the uh, original voice of Charlie Brown that we all know and love. All right, Charlie Brown going to TJ. Uh, Travis up again. Women want men who do breaks. You got that right. <laughs> wow, there you go, Carly. She just wants tacos and beer. Um, at the same time. Mixed up in a blender. Made into a into a shake. Travis at the nine spot. Did Travis pick? Oh, Justice League. I didn't see it. 
It did not, uh, it did download. It downloaded weird. Okay. Uh, Justice League 37 has been selected. Uh, the first appearance of Silver, Mr. Terrific. No, that's not the old Mr. Terrific. That is the uh, first Silver Age appearance. Uh, Rudy. Next up. You guys are going to like the next case. We'll list that for next Monday. Uh, now, there is a national championship basketball is next Monday. I think we're going to be breaking. We may do a limited schedule next Monday just to not be competing with a basketball game. So uh, stay tuned to the website. I'm not sure what time this will break. All right, he's taking a Venom. Venom number 27. First appearance of Codex. And the third autograph by someone with the last name of Lee. CGC 9.8. Tyler, next up. And remember, uh, Rudy, Tyler, and Justin are all going to get a bonus item as well. How do you guys like the bonus structure uh, as far as uh, does it alleviate man I hope I don't get last three I mean does it kind of alleviate that you guys like us to uh, continue that forty five seconds Oscar's jokes. Adventure Comics. The first appearance of Red Kryptonite sounds significant to me. Uh, Action Comics 252, CGC 3.5, going old school. That is, man, you can't go wrong with that. And uh, you get a bonus item as well. And then the Iron Man 43 from 1971, CGC 7.0, first appearance of Guardsman, the Guardsman. Going to Justin. All right, so we're going to eliminate the clock. I don't think we need the clock anymore. Uh, so what we're going to do is Justin is going to get a uh, pick 12. And then we're going to go Tyler. Is going to get uh, the next bonus for pick 11. And then we're going to go Rudy. So those will be the uh, order for the bonuses. And uh, so let's go over and see what we got. I won't even need to type these in. We'll just go through them. All right, uh, I have two full-size full size graded comics here and uh, a card. 2018 Avengers Infinity War, one-of-one one sketch card. Captain America, one-of-one one sketch card. Dynasty Breaks tag on it. How cool is that? 101 sketch from Infinity War. There's your signature from the artist. 101 sketch. Captain America. Bonus item one. 
All right, bonus two, graded comic. Hand that to George. Let's do the info card first. Uh, Avengers number 250 from 1984. 80s theme continues. CGC 9.4, Maelstrom West Coast Avengers appearance. And uh, let me move this third comic out of the way. Again, not the greatest camera angle on our card table for seeing a comic book. We need to get a new camera set up uh, for this. So I'll try to do sideways here. You guys can see Mighty Avengers. CGC 9.4 is your bonus comic. And it's got Frogger 2 on the back. Can't beat that. There you go. That one's trash there. You don't need that. All right. MCU. Hmm. MCU. All right. X-Force number four from 1991. That is a CGC 8.5. Spider-Man crossover. No, not Spider-Man pulling a Tim Hardaway. Spider-Man crossover. X-Force. That actually looks cooler like that. <laughs> there you go. CGC, 8.5. And uh, D and D fans. Check that out. All right, so we have two graded comics. Uh, we have the uh, Mighty Avengers 9.4. We have the X-Force 8.5, and we have the one-of-one one sketch, Captain America. Um, Justin, you get first bonus selection. So let me know which one you would like to have, Justin. And this will end out our breaks this evening. We're back on a Wednesday. Uh, Inception Baseball, brand new release. Doing two cases of that. We've got contenders, football, crazy combos. Uh, got a lot of other stuff as well. Basketball mixer. Check out Wednesday's breaks. Justin with the first selection. Uh, taking the X-Force. And the grade on that is an 8.5. All right, there you go, Justin. Tyler, next up, you've got the 9.4 Mighty Avengers. You've got the 101 Sketch Captain America. TJ, next up. One on one Captain America card goes next. Next one on one Captain America sketch. There you go, Tyler. And then we're going to end out with the Mighty Avengers. That is a nine point four. All right, that is our draft board in its entirety. Thank you guys for uh, participating in this. Thank you to Trevor for putting this together. And uh, thanks for watching our videos. DynastyBreaks.com, that's our website. We have personal boxes. We have mainly sports card breaks. Uh, got a really cool throwback 2007 baseball break. Uh, legendary cuts from Upper Deck on Thursday night. Um, just got a, got a big lineup. Inception Baseball is brand new on Wednesday. So check us out and uh, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up before you leave. Thanks.